Hey, welcome back YouTubers to another hashtag TTH unboxing and review and it is quite a nautical um, unboxing today as you can see. Well, this is the one half of my recent birthday haul, well, gifts. Um, so I thought I'd do an unboxing since it is quite an interesting one. Um, so as you most of you have known for a while I have been getting into Black Seas. I haven't unfortunately had time to play it yet but I've been working on the board which I will be doing a video on soon. The board is basically finished. I just want to get some of these ships done and painted and then they can all be added to the board and I'll do one big uh, sort of review with a bit of theme music. Before I continue, on the point of theme music, and some of you guys who are YouTube veterans can um, comment down below and let me know your opinions. Obviously, it's it's not right for a YouTuber or anyone to use something that someone else has created and is making money from. You know, you need the copyright, which I totally get, but we're all trying to start somewhere, you know, and when I use theme music from movies to theme a video you know there's not a lot of animation in my videos there's just very raw reviews um i do it for the fun of it i'm not trying to infringe on anyone's rights it's just it's how i've done my videos because i'm planning to use a few nautical sea shanty type themes for for the big reveal of the board that's done once these are all painted up but um i, I always put in my descriptions when there is a theme music a theme song that has been used i always say you know, disclaimer, copyright, whatever rights go to original owner or company to avoid that. The reason I'm bringing this up is because unfortunately I had to delete one of my uh, reviews on my dioramas that I did, namely the Roman one, because apparently the I used a bit of some a bit of music from the movie Ben Hur. It wasn't named music; it was just something I downloaded, and um, the video got nailed. So it's. You know, to the people out there that, you know, make it their business of the day to nail us YouTubers when we're using music for a very short time in a video, you know, really, it's not great for us, you know, and yeah, I shouldn't be ranting like this in my videos, but it's just, it's something I feel I had to say because it's really not cool. You know, we're not using the whole movie. We're not recreating something that is a total copyright. It's, it's our hobby using a bit of something. So... I'm going to try and avoid it in future, but for stuff like this, for example, I really, really want to use like a sea shanty or something that's I've downloaded and want to theme the video. But we'll see what happens. But enough about that negative rant. Let's dive into what we have in front of us. So I've already gone and unboxed everything. Um, so it's it's a du or a triple unboxing. So we've got the Royal Sovereign right there, the two merchant vessels over there, and the scenery pack. So Let's dive into it. So I'm not going to go into all the boring stuff. I mean, you, you've got your rigging with both packs of ships. You've got your ship cards, your sails, your decals, and your little manual thing over there. Um, these two particular packs, I, I've now noticed, are, are metal. Uh, well, the resin bases, like this one, with metal masts. Not a huge fan of the metal masts. You have to do a lot of reshaping, and they do bend. So I, I prefer plastic, but... All in all, fantastic. I'll dive into these models in just a moment. So, let's get the camera to focus. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, here's the two packages of masts for the merchant vessels. And then we dive into the terrain. So, what do we have for terrain? So, we've got these little cannon batteries over here, which are really cool. I'm not going to put them permanent on the board because my naval combat board is for cruel seas, victory at sea, and this. So I'm, I'm not going to you know, leave these. I suppose I could because then they could just be, you know, a bit of a historical site, I suppose. So, yeah, maybe. We'll see. Just a quick thing. The reason I haven't sprayed the rocks or the lighthouse is because I won't be using them. These are actually going to a friend because I think, I don't know hectically a lot about lighthouse history, but I don't think they had lighthouses like that in the 1700s. So, I, I, I'll have to brush up on that. But anyway, those are not too hectically. The reason I got the scenery pack really because of this was because of this lovely Martello Tower over here. Um, so that's going to go really nicely. Um, and then obviously these these wrecked ships, which are absolutely beautiful. I mean, they haven't even been painted yet, but the, the molding and everything like that is just superb in my opinion. And then of course your, again, 
um, packs like this that you get with everything. So yeah, let's dive into it. So here's the Royal Sovereign. Um, it, I thought it would be bigger. It is big, but I mean, if we, you know, if we put a brig next to it, it's, it is sizable. I just thought it would be quite larger. Um, I'm guessing the Spanish ship, the Santa Maria, Santa Missa Trinidad, whatever it's called, that, that thing was, was, a friend of mine's got one, and I think that is quite large. But still, nevertheless, a very beautiful model. I must say, it's going to be a lot of fun working on this. And then what I was really intrigued about was the two merchant ships that you get in the set. They they are so cool. I I think the design of the... Oh, I must clean that up there. The design of these are really nice. Um, this this particular design of ship. Um, I They did say on the back that they weren't armed, but apparently these are light arm, light armored um, in terms of having firepower and cannon. Um, but just it's a lovely ship and I think this is just a smaller version of that because they look kind of similar this one I'll be turning into the black pill because why not because it kind of looks like it but nevertheless beautiful models well done Warlord Games you, you guys know what you're doing here I must say this is a game I've been looking at for a long time and I'm finally into so yeah and then this is the I'll just quickly give you a squiz of the Royal Sovereign's card and as we can see they're quite heavily ar um, armed as well Extra large speed 104 handling um, sales three, so yeah, it's 104. You know, health. So um, it's, it's a lot of wood, <laughs> um, and then of course your rigging and sails, and then the the lifeboats and uh, lifeboat. Yeah, the the wooden rowing boats and the the anchors and all of that. So yeah, it's. I mean, it's a beautiful model. It's it's. Yeah, I, I can't say any more than that. They they know what they're doing. So, um, yeah, that is the unboxing. I've got another unboxing coming along soon as well because for the other gift I got from it, there was the Bolt Action 8th Army starter set for the guys in the desert. So, yeah, that'll be coming soon. Um, it'll actually come after this video, in fact. Not right away, but this will be the next upload. And then, of course, I'm going to be um, doing a video on my Bolt Action terrain piece that I did for Iwo Jima. Um, those of you that have been following me on my hobby group, Tabletop Hobbies Terrain Technician, will have seen the progress. I didn't start a YouTube video because I wasn't sure how it was going to go. I should have, but so uh, the video will cover the end result. But the main point of this video was this unboxing. And this is what you will get if you come across these sets. And it was quite a nice bundle. You know, it was the last of the stock on the shelves, so why not pick it up? Um, but I think once these are all done, it'll be really nice to be marketed on the board I've just done. Um, so yeah, good job, Warlord Games. Really, really nice work on these models and molds. Um, but those of you that are into the game, let me know down below what um, fleets you are or nations you are playing and what you think of the game. And of course, guys, thank you so much for helping me reach 200 subscribers. I see it is slowly climbing. Let's try for 500 now. Um, and as always, don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video, guys.